My question is, can we buy cosmetics which has animal derived ingredients in them? Because we don't know whether it's from animals that are haram or from animals that were not slaughtered correctly. And do we need to check the ingredients of cosmetics before we buy them? Jazakallahu khairan. Jazakum. First of all, cosmetics, makeups and the likes are used externally. <clears throat> They're not used or consumed. So the worst that could happen is that before you pray, you have to remove it if it's nejis, if it's impure. Secondly, the default is everything is halal to be used until proven otherwise. Do you think I went and checked the ingredients of my clothes before buying it? No. Why am I buying clothes? Maybe there is some pork in it. Maybe they put some dead cows or uh, uh, the eyeballs of lizards and... I could care less. It is halal till proven otherwise. Otherwise, I'm going to cast doubt upon myself on everything I use. And this is not the simplicity and ease of Islam. Thirdly, if there were to be animal derivatives or ingredients or substances or materials in these cosmetics, they say that it should have most likely undergone a vigorous process of changing its nature to a different substance known as al-istihala. So when things change their chemical and physical characteristics and are transformed into a different material altogether, this becomes halal. Like the fuqaha, the jurors, the jurors usually give an example of a dog falling into a salt pit. And after a month, we come and find that the, the dog is no longer exists. All what we see is salt. So every single, every single particle in that dog has uh, uh, dissolved and transformed into salt. And it's not existing anymore as a dog, but it's a different substance altogether. They say that this is pure without a problem and Allah knows best.